Hi all. Yes, another fascinating attacking chess game from Leela ID511. This is against Komodo 9.02. This game is submitted by David Grosvenor, who uses a 2.8 GHz 4 CPU setup for Komodo and a GTX 1060 graphics card for Leela. One minute for 40 moves per, per 40 moves time control. Pretty quick. Let's see what happens. D4 from Leela. Knight f6, we go into the king's engine defense. These are the book moves given. Here is the end of the book. Bishop e2. Komodo castles. Knight f3, bishop g4. Now this has been used by Kasparov. This is a surprise weapon within the king's engine. Uh, in in the, the recent rapid play where a couple of years back, uh, Kasparov unsuccessfully, I believe, used this against Wesley So, who played a brilliant game. I can give you the link to that game. Uh, in the pinned comment, but uh, it's a bit tricky. You need to know what you're doing against this. Bishop e3, knight f7. <clears throat> so black's putting a lot of pressure on that d4 pawn. It's kind of annoying. Now here, uh, some players are really confused with like, what to really do here. There's a quirky move which is quite nice. Knight g1, which is known in, in chess based live book, just to exchange off that pesky bishop. This position is even. But it's not exactly an attacking style. Uh, castling, it runs into this continuation. This is a popular continuation where black takes on f3 here and then plays knight a5. It's pretty annoying stuff. And black can even double the pawns and have this position, which isn't that bad. This has been seen quite a bit, this kind of continuation. It's really kind of difficult. When it's got fragmented pawn structure, it's sometimes difficult to prove maybe the, the bishop pair here. Uh, so, but Leela really plays a direct move, which is on the radar of many over the board players. Uh, quite, you know, it has been played over a hundred games at least at a high level. Queen d2, and it's kind of say, saying to Black, "Well, you do your positional stuff, and I'm just going to castle queenside here." So c5, d5. We have queen a5. Now here, actually. Not casting queenside immediately, but bishop h6, trying to trade off that defensive bishop. Black takes, and now bishop takes f3, trying to weaken actually white on the c4 pawn. White accepts double pawns to avoid an issue here. Uh, this is interesting. If bishop takes, this is really an active move. Uh, say white castles, black does best not to take the pawn in this line, but to put more pressure on c4. Uh, so, for example, here, this position uh, should be a big advantage to black, though. Yeah, it's a big advantage. If black's very careful, plays the cards right. If black isn't very careful here, by the way, you can check the variation PGN in the pinned comment. This line, when black takes on c4 immediately, the, uh, this is actually running into big trouble after h4. Uh, it's yeah, this is a dangerous attack for it. So black's got to play that very carefully uh, to, to follow up on this particular idea. But in any case, Leela didn't even indulge the c4 that much by keeping the bishop intact on e2, protecting the pawn. Now after queen b4, just castling here is possible, just protecting b2 with the king. We have king h8 uh, here, h4. Now, with the pieces on the back row, the knight can't move yet here now, especially with king h8, because queen takes f8, of, of course. So rook g8, uh, which is also an interesting defensive try, to try and close things up on h5 to play g5. It's very natural. Uh, on knight a6, this kind of position, uh, trying to keep things closed, otherwise h2 is going to be lethal, uh, is actually very very nice for white anyway these losing this e7 pawn is pretty fatal so black's got to tread very carefully here so we have rook g8 h5 g5 so it seems as though this is safe enough for the moment rook h g1 now knight e5 so counter-attacking on that c4 pawn uh, on f6 you might ask there's actually f4 uh, so this is uh, quite unpleasant for black Clearly not taking here because that's really asking for trouble. Just getting mated or uh, stuff losing material. So say uh, not the sensible knight b6. White's getting a big advantage here in this line. Doesn't matter about c4 because what happens here is this knight actually can reroute to f5. That's securing a big advantage eventually. 
hurrying the mate fret, but White's got a big advantage coming up here uh, after winning that exchange, etc. So uh, knight e5 was chosen, not f6. Just offering the g pawn in exchange for the c pawn. Uh, so rook takes. Now knight bd7 here, not taking on c4 here, because again, the, the rook needs to connect to the other rook right away because it's it's clearly it's it's fatal with this g file it's fatal stuff so the rooks have got to connect hello hello all right a3 is play queen b3 rook dg1 now if you look at this position there's the possibility of rook g7 here to threaten mate on h7 black does take time out to take on c4 here and threaten queen takes and then mating on d2 white Leader protects her b2, knight f6. And now rook g7, the rook installs itself, so virtually pinning that knight. Uh, so it's an interesting decision, uh, interesting position rather here. Now, black blundered, in my view here, relative blunder, played queen a2, which allows a really nifty combination based on h7. Uh, black's last chance to, to hold it seems to be b5. I can't see I couldn't find a way to crack this with engine help um, this scenario uh, might seem dangerous but black can even sack the knight and aim for a perpetual check scenario like this with best play the king's not going anywhere uh, so it's, it's a sort of perpetual check scenario so that, sh that ideally is the ideal move b5 but here we see queen a2 and this makes a nice puzzle position so how would you proceed here with your attack with white? So this is a question to all you budding attacking players. White's play here. What would you naturally think about playing in this position? What do you want to do? If I give you five seconds to pause the video, you might want to analyze the position. Okay. Well, Leela taps into the H7 issue with a vengeance here. By playing e5, this liberates, in theory, this, this diagonal. The bishop potentially can come to d3 now. But isn't there a snag here? Well, d takes, there's no snag, because bishop d3, and we're threatening now rook takes h7 check. Uh, there's nothing really black can do about that. e4 doesn't really do anything, because bishop takes. The knight's pinned because of mating. So this is just mating black on h7 pretty swiftly. So... That means knight takes is really the only choice, but now it stops knight, uh, it stops bishop d3, but now the nudge, little nudge, f4 is played. Black has to sacrifice a piece. If the knight goes back, clearly bishop d3 is just fatal here for black. So black gives up a piece with queen takes d5. That, that knight is taken, and it's all over really. Leela's really a piece up. Rook g4 is stylish. The knight can't move because of queen h7. Uh, so this position, white's improving the pieces. Bishop d3, threatening rook h7. And with the rook and bishop now supporting the e4 square. So the rook is pretty nifty for this use. e4 is not that helpful after bishop takes e4. So protected by the rook. Uh, Komodo sacrifices the queen to stave off mate in this possession. Uh, so Lila actually takes on g8, and the game was adjudicated as a win here for white. On knight takes g8, we just take uh, we just take the opportunity to mate on g7, take the checkmate there. And on rook takes, then just taking the queen, and queen f4 is strong, for example, queen e5. And this is this is just all over really for black. So go to the game and possession. So Leela's actually contributing maybe to a bit of opening theory here for the attacking player against that annoying surprise weapon that Kings Indian players sometimes play, that early bishop g4. There's just seems to be a direct way of playing for an attack. The way Leela demonstrated this game is maybe of opening theory importance to highlight the crude method which which players are playing a little bit but this is a very very nice stem game to be aware of when playing with the white pieces against this bishop g4 line in my view okay i hope you enjoyed it comments questions like shares appreciated
Thanks very much.